Hey, this is John Young. Today we're going to look at a light here. This is uh, from Craftsman. The, the actual light is not a huge deal, but there's one kind of cool thing about a lot of these area lights there. Um, if you're into the Craftsman, this is on their V20 line. There's a lot of, it's a hybrid one. Many of the companies have it where it's a battery or a plug-in. Why I wanted to show you this one. Um, okay, there's going to be somebody who says, give me the model number. This is the CMCL030. Uh, I've seen them on clearance in some places, so I don't know if they're discontinuing it. Okay, the purpose of the video. You can hang these in different ways. They're all set. Each manufacturer is a little bit different. But what a lot of them have is right here, this little this little uh, little nut here built into it. What this is for is for using a tripod type connection. If you've got a camera tripod, similar to what's holding the, the device right there, that's that little quarter inch little little uh, for the little quarter inch bolt to go into. Now, for those of us who want to have a shop light that is up on a stand, but we don't want to spend a ton of money, or we've already got one of these, generally the ones that are on a stand that get to about five foot high, they're about $150. You might be able to find one for about a hundred bucks online somewhere. Well, yeah, that's that's more than I want to spend. I can sometimes, I think I've seen these again on clearance for under $50, and I've, there's a variety of them, again, that have that. So here's what, here's what I'm going to do with it. I can find mic stands. This is just a common mic stand that you'd find in the entertainment world. Um, you can find them online. Sometimes I've seen them on the marketplace for like five bucks. But even that, if you wanna go brand new, you can get these inexpensively on, on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. But it's a nice little mic stand. So what's neat about this is that they're adjustable. So I'm gonna set it on the ground and extend this now, most of these little lights that you buy can only get to, to about yeah, face height. So right now, this is the max height of this mic stand, which is about the height of what most of those are. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. It's a little adapter that goes from the 5 8 inch up here to that quarter inch. So let's just go and put that together. And they come in a little, you can buy them two, you can buy four. I, I decided I wanted to go with four pack. And again, I'll put that link in the description below because this is kind of a cool little thing. What it allows me to do is to take a light such as this, and you probably would be better to go with the other direction, you know, to put, but I wanted to have it so that you guys could see. There we go. So now I have this light up on a stand. And technically, this is now, I'm, I'm six foot two. So you can see that this is at or above high, head height. Now I've got the battery. I wanted to do this. So now we have the battery. We have it up on the, on the mic stand. So there's a little bit of movement to it. But most of that is just the swing of the stand itself. The feet are not leaving the ground right now as I'm doing this. Now, if I needed some additional, I could put like a little sandbag or something over those legs, and that would get me there. There's some mic stands that have a round metal cast iron base. Now, that's not quite the area size. I want to have something that's got a little bit more width to it. So again, it can take a little bit of a bump. And again, if I put that weight down there over those three legs, a sandbag on each one, it's not going anywhere. But now I have a light that I can go and turn on, and I can have light above me. Boy, that's really bright. So it will turn it down. And now I've got the lights up there. It's on a stand. It's relatively stable. And it's all connected and such, screwed in together. So it's nice and tight and not going anywhere. Really kind of a neat idea. And I still, even though I bought these for like $10, whatever they are, $15, I could buy the stand itself for about 20 bucks and the light for about 40, I'm still money ahead, and I have the flexibility of taking this off and using it as a standalone, say if I'm going to be doing some, some sheetrock working and I want to do some, some, some mudding and sanding and things, and I want to go through and see if there's any flaws, you take a light like this, put it on the floor, shine it up the wall, and that gives you, can show you those little blemishes and the divots and different things that you can't see if you're just looking at it with an overhead light. Anyway, links will be in the description below so you can check this out. But if you want to make yourself a, a job site light and put it up on a stand, there's some ways to do it and probably save yourself a little bit of money.